Hello friends, welcome to the course on C programming. In this section of videos, we'll cover conditional statements available in C programming. There are multiple statements under the categories of uh, conditional statements. We'll cover if statement in this video and other statement in these uh, will be covered in the next videos. This is a very simple uh, statement and I'm sure you'll enjoy a lot. First, we'll have a syntactical understanding of if statement. Then we'll try to understand the same syntax pictorially using flowchart. And at the end, we'll have a small program to demonstrate how the if statement is used in C programming. The syntax of if statement is very simple. With if statement, we need to specify a condition in these two round braces. And the body of if statement is represented in form of one or more statements within curly braces. Hence, everything written within the opening and closing curly braces indicate the body of if statement. Here, block A represents the body of if statement. After the body of if statement, the program continues with the next set of, set of statements. Here, the next set of statement is shown as block B. Let us take some example of condition that we specify with if statement. You can see there are some examples over here. Age is greater than 18. Ma is mark less than 35. Is income equal to expense? Is my salary not equal to your salary? Indirectly, a condition is a question which results into an answer of either true or false or in other words yes or no. Now let us take a case if the condition is true or yes. So if the condition is true block A is executed first and then block B is executed. So if the condition is true block A is executed and then block B is executed. But if the condition is false or no, then in that case block A is skipped and only block B is executed. If I summarize again, if the condition is true, if the condition is true, then block A, then block B. But if the condition is false, then only block E, block B. Simple? Now let us try to understand the syntax using a flowchart. First let us represent a condition. We know that condition can result into either true or false. If the condition is true, then block A is executed first and then block B. If the condition is true, block A and then block B. And if the condition is false, then in that case it will not go over here in block A, block A will be skipped and it will directly go to block B. Now let us take a small program to see how this concept of if statement works in programming. This, this is a skeleton of C program. We wish to write a program where we'll read a marks of a student in a particular subject and we'll ask the program to decide whether the student has cleared the exam or not. We need one variable to hold the marks of one subject. So we have taken m as integer variable here in the very first statement. Then in second statement we are asking user, we are asking user to enter the marks and the marks entered by the user is taken in the variable m in the third statement. Once we have some marks available in variable m, then we'll check the condition. If m is greater than or equal to 35, as we know, it can result into either true or false depending on the value of m. Now let us take the example where m is greater than or equal to 35. In this case, it will go in block A and then it will print pass and then buy. But if the value of M is less than 35, in that case, it will not go here. It will directly jump to the buy, the block B. Now let us run the program with some sample 
values let's say when i run the program the program will ask me to enter the marks so i'll have a message enter marks over here and supposing i'm entering 89 so this 89 will go in the variable m so the value of m is 89 so 89 is greater than or equal to 35 yes we know that 89 is greater than 35 so in that case this is true so it will go here block a and then it will go here block b so it will print pass by so i'll get pass and by as an output now if i run this program again but if this time if i enter 29 here then 29 greater than 35 now this condition will result into false or no in this case it will not enter into block a it will directly jump to block b which is nothing but just a by print so program will print by there is an assignment i'm not explaining the assignment i'm leaving to you uh, you can pause the video and uh, understand it later this program is all about checking whether the number given from the user from the keyboard is positive or not So I think you can now look at the program, look at the output and try to understand this assignment on your own. So with this, I thank you friends. Hope now you have a clear understanding of if statement. In my next video, we'll see if else statement. Until then, enjoy C programming.